Let's paint an easy still life together which is perfect for watercolor beginners. The reference picture for this painting is provided here. You can also download it from the description. I'm using a light value of ultramarine to paint the background with the wet on dry technique. After painting the background, I till the board to collect any excess watercolor pigment at the edges. Then I use a damp brush to absorb the excess pigment. I want you to remind that in this painting you should use only a light value of ultramarine to paint the background. I mix sap green with a small amount of burnt umber and have it on my palette. On the other side of the palette, I added more water to this mix to get a light value which I used to paint the base layer of the grape. While painting the base layer, I leave some white areas for highlights. The white areas for the highlights aren't completely paper white. They have a light value of ultramarine which we applied as the background. After painting the base layer of the grape, I then paint the mid-tones on the grape. Next, I mix ultramarine with a small amount of sap green to get a dark value which I used to paint at the base of the grape. Next, we are going to paint a second grape with its direction indicated by my finger. Just like the first grape, I started with a light value for the base layer, leaving some white areas for highlights. Now I'm applying a medium value from the middle to the bottom of the grape finishing with a dark value at the very bottom of the grape. Since the light is hitting the top, the color gets darker as you move down the grape. While the grape area is still wet, I add the base of the stem using burnt umber. The third grape is partially hidden behind the first one. I'm going to use three different values and a highlight to paint this grape just like with the others that are previously done. I paint the fourth and fifth grapes in the same way as the previous ones using three different tones. To save time, I sped up the process by 2x. One of the grapes looks quite flat, so to make it more realistic, 
I wet the grape and added a dark value in the middle to give it more depth and to bring it to life. After that, using burnt umber, I paint the stems of these grapes. I simplify the shadows of these grapes as much as possible. For clarity, you can refer to the reference image. I started by wetting the areas where the grapes touch the ground. Then using ultramarine, I painted the shadows. While painting these shadows, I made sure they fade as they move away from the grapes. Next I mix sap green with ultramarine to create a dark value and use this to paint the darkest part of the shadow near the bottom of the grapes. Using burnt umber, I added brown spots to the grapes. We reached the end of this painting process. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you in another video. Until then, take care and bye bye from Prema.